Hey guys, this is Troy from TroyPoint.com and in this video I will demonstrate how to install DDWRT firmware onto a router. You can think of firmware as the operating system that runs your router. And the DDWRT firmware provides features that your original firmware usually doesn't offer. A big one is running a VPN that protects all devices or chosen devices on your entire network. In this example, I will be installing DDWRT on the popular Netgear R7000. In the video description, you will find important links referenced in this video, and I will also post links in that same area for all of my tutorials that use DDWRT. I'm going to do everything on my Windows PC. You should be able to do this on any device that has a web browser. Now, if you don't already have a router capable of running DDWRT, I've created a buyer's guide that lists the best DDWRT routers available. I continually update that list to ensure we're always pointing you to the best routers available. You can get my DDWRT router buyer's guide by clicking the link in the video description, or you can also scan this QR code with the camera app on your phone or tablet and that way you can quickly access the free guide on your mobile device. Now, whenever doing work like this on a router, I like being connected directly to the router with an ethernet cable. It's just easier because when the router reboots, we don't need to worry about constantly reconnecting to the wireless network on the router. In this example, I'm connected directly from my computer's ethernet port into one of the LAN ports local area network on the back of the router. Then the WAN port wide area network is connected to my cable modem, which brings in the internet connection. Now, if you don't have an ethernet port on the device you are connecting to the router from, you can definitely do it wirelessly. In my opinion, it's just easier being hardwired. Now, the first thing that you want to do is download two files from the DDWRT website. And again, link for this website is in the video description. I'm going to click router database, click close for this ad. And now for the search term, I'm going to type in Netgear R7000. And mine is the top one here. There is an R7000P. So be sure to look on the bottom of your router to determine the exact model. And it's also important to point out that not all routers will work for this. If you don't find your router in this database, unfortunately, it's not going to work. However, I have found the Netgear R7000 to be one of the best out there for running DDWRT. It's fairly inexpensive. You can also find these used on eBay as well if you don't want to pay full price for a new one. So I'm going to go ahead and click this top option here. I'm going to scroll down and now you're going to see I have two different files here and I need to download both of these to my PC. The way we're going to do this is we first need to flash this chk file and then once we do that we want to flash the bin file. I'm going to click the link here. Bottom left hand corner, you will see that it is downloading. That should have been put directly into my downloads folder. Just make sure here it is. And now I'm going to go ahead and download the bin file. Bottom left hand corner, that has downloaded as well. Okay, I've got the two files I need to flash DDWRT. Now, one thing you may notice is that these two files are fairly old, they're over two years old. You can get newer. DDWRT files are just not referred to as stable. These are the ones that are in beta release. All you have to do is go up to other downloads, click that, scroll all the way down, and then click the last option in the list. That's going to give you the most recent beta. And now you're going to find the model of your router. Again, for me, it's a Netgear R7000. I'm going to click that. And here are the two files that I would download, the chk file and the bin file. And sometimes you may want to use these beta releases due to the fact that there are features in here that you may not find in the stable release. But nonetheless, for this tutorial, I will be using the stable release. Next, I'm going to open the admin page 
for my router. So I'm going to open a new tab here and for my router the address is routerlogin.net. It's asking for my username and password and you should have set your username and password when you first set up your router. All routers come with documentation. All this information should be located in that area. Now, a lot of times you can also find this information on the bottom of your router. And you will see here on my Nighthawk R7000, it shows exactly how to access the admin page. It shows the default passwords. So if you haven't set a password already, or you didn't change the password, you can always use that default password that might be located on the bottom of your router. You can also use the IP address for the router to log in that way. Now, if you don't know what your IP address is for your router, you can easily find that by coming down here to the search box, type in CMD for command, hit enter, type in IP config, and you're looking for the default gateway right here. So if I were to type into the browser 192.132.1.1, it's going to open the same admin page right here. So either routerlogin.net will work for me or this IP address listed right here. Okay, once in this area, I'm going to go ahead and click Advanced, click Administration, and now I want to click Router Update. And you will see here on this page, I can go ahead now and browse for those files that I just downloaded. Now, very important before I proceed here. If you are following these instructions, please note that I will not be held responsible if you do something wrong and you brick your router. If for any reason when flashing these files, if you would lose power or something like that, that could actually brick your router and you can never regain the capabilities that it currently has. So there definitely is a risk to doing this. And again, Troy Point will not be held liable for any damage that you do. And in my downloads folder, again, we have our two files. The first one we want to use is the CHK file. I'm going to click that, click open, and now I'm going to click upload. Click OK. And now it gives you this warning. The firmware version you are trying to upload is older than the one you had. Do you still want to continue? I'm going to click yes. And now it says that the update takes about two minutes. Do not power off or press the reset button on your router during the update. So I'm going to sit here for a couple minutes. We'll let it do its thing and then we'll come back and flash the other file. Okay, after a couple minutes and you know that your router has finished rebooting, you may see that this screen stays the same here. And the reason for that is because you have new firmware and there's no way that the Netgear firmware is now going to load. So what we need to do now first is make sure that you are connected to the network. Now, since I'm hardwired, I'm already connected to the router. But if you're using a wireless connection, you want to make sure you come down here to the bottom right. If you aren't hardwired, click this. Now you're going to see there should be a wireless connection for DDWRT. And you're going to want to click that and connect to it. Now it's important to point out here that there is a padlock next to the DDWRT Wi-Fi connection. And in my situation, it brought over the default Wi-Fi password that comes with the router. And if you remember at the beginning of the video, when I turned over the router, it showed what the wireless password is, and it's ZanyShu161. So upon first connecting to this, it's going to ask me for that password, and then later on we will be able to change that. So once you're connected to the router, you're going to come up here to the address bar, and you're going to type in 192.168.1.1. Hit enter. And now you see the DDWRT admin page. And right off the bat, it's asking us to change our router username and password. And then you have to re-enter your password for confirmation. 
So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And you'll see here, after you type in your passwords, it's going to give you a score and then tell you whether it's strong or not. I suggest making sure that you do choose a strong password for your router login. Make sure you write this down as well. Okay, I'm going to click Change Password. And now we have been logged into the DDWRT control panel. Now, if you remember, we still have to flash that other bin file. I'm going to move up and click Administration. And now it's asking us for our username and password again because we just changed it. So now you're going to type in your new username and password that you just set. Okay, now on this administration tab, you're going to see here we have a sub tab called firmware upgrade. I'm going to click that. And now you're going to see here it says after flashing reset to. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to reset to default settings because we already are on default settings. There's no need to do that. So I'm going to leave as is. Don't reset. I'm going to click choose file. And now I'm choosing the bin file. Click open. And now I'm going to click Upgrade. And you will see here, we get this message, Upgrade successful, unit is rebooting now, please wait a moment. So again, we'll give this another couple minutes. All right, you will see that the router has rebooted and we are now back on the DDWRT admin page. Again, bottom right hand corner, if for some reason you're using wireless and you're not getting this, you first need to click this, click DDWRT, make sure you're connected to your router wirelessly, and then you can type in 192.168.1.1, hit enter, and then that's going to bring you back in here. Now, just like any other type of router configuration, the first thing I would suggest is coming into wireless wireless security and this is where you can set up the passwords for the Wi-Fi on your router again just like any other typical router setup there you go that is how you can flash DDWRT onto your router as mentioned earlier you will find important links in the video description including a screenshot guide that is available on the Troy Point website thank you very much for watching this video please be sure to hit the thumbs up button Subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to be notified when I release new videos like this in the future. Also, be sure to visit TroyPoint.com for hundreds of tutorials that you won't find on YouTube that you're guaranteed to enjoy. Have an awesome day, everyone, and thanks for following TroyPoint.